In today's Eye on Entertainment, honoring women in film. Crystal Cruz is live in Beverly Hills. Crystal. Hi, Paul and Pat. This is really all about honoring outstanding women in the entertainment industry, women who have really given a leg up to other women. So tonight, we are waiting on the carpet for Kate Blanchett, Claire Danes, Taraji P. Henson from Empire, the hit show. She's being given the Lucy Award for Excellence in Television. Now, moving on, CBS and the Recording Academy just inked a 10 year deal to keep music's biggest night right here on CBS. The Grammy Awards have called CBS home for more than 40 years. The recent deal, a record for the longest partnership between an awards show and broadcaster. And in just a few hours, Disney will open Shanghai Disney, its fourth overseas resort. The $5.5 billion park covers 963 acres. It's more than 11 times the size of Disneyland in Anaheim, right here in Southern California, and features the largest and tallest castle of any Disney park. There's six theme zones, including Fantasyland and Tomorrowland, but you won't find Frontierland because Disney wanted to avoid accusations of cultural imperialism. And instead of Main Street USA, there's Mickey Avenue. Shanghai Disney opens tomorrow. And good thing we saved these old pictures from Taylor Swift and Calvin Harris's Instagram pages. Both performers deleted them after rumors and photos surfaced online of Taylor recently kissing actor Tom Heidelstein. Harris even deleted a tweet about love and respect for Taylor after their recent breakup. Now, could there be some showmances on Big Brother season 18? It debuts next Wednesday. Let's meet the six women and six men moving into the house. Meet the cast of summer's guilty pleasure, Big Brother 18. Twelve new house guests are moving in, and two of them are no strangers to the game. Polly Calafiori and Tiffany Russo are siblings of former house guests. My brother Cody being on um, season 16. Vanessa Russo, she's my sister. I hope to do as well as her. What are some other strategies the new cast members have? Natalie Negrotti and Paul Abrahamian say they're ready to play down their strengths. Well, my strategy is definitely to just be myself, but also control my emotions. So my plan is to walk in super calm, super serene, complete opposite of what I am. Bronte De Quizto and Jose Flores say they'll study and influence the behavior of others. Approach this game like I approach my math. I'm going to be methodical. I'm going to use critical thinking. I think I can move my pawns around in the house um, and make them do my bidding. Wanting to appear friendly, Bridget Dunning and Michelle Meyer initially planned to appear non threatening. And get on their good side. I feel like people will want to come to me for alliances. Who's going to guess while I'm pulling pranks, you know? I'm very competitive. Any challenges, think I have a good chance of winning. I'm down for a showmance. <laughs> <laughs> showmance. Uh, showmance is always a possibility. Most of the cast members are in their 20s, but Glenn Garcia, he's 50, the oldest, a former NYPD detective and current dog groomer. I always said I could do this. There's always been 16 cast members, so it's interesting we only met 12. So could there be some more uh, cast members being added to the show? That's a question that uh, we're asking ourselves today. Tomorrow, we are giving you a sneak peek inside the Big Brother house. It is totally different from last season, so you definitely want to check that out right here tomorrow. I'll send it back to you, Pat and Paul. Thanks, Crystal. We learned a new word, showmances.